Fishing is fun but sometimes things go wrong or becomes more hard. Here are some simple fishing hacks you need to know and proven useful. Number 1 Use a safety pin to organize your hooks by size. Organize your hooks with safety pin An easy way to fix this is by keeping all hooks of one size together, and a great way to do this is by threading them onto a safety pin, and then storing that in a specific compartment of your tackle box. 2. Use a cork to organize your hooks. Organize your hooks with safety pin An easy way to fix this is by keeping all hooks of one size together, and a great way to do this is by threading them onto a safety pin, and then storing that in a specific compartment of your tackle box. 3. Use a safety pin to replace a damaged line guide on your fishing rod. There's a great fishing hack that allows you to quickly replace the line guide with a safety pin and duct tape, and continue fishing right away. In order to do this, you need to bend the safety pin at a 90 degree angle, and then tape it to the rod with the eye of the safety pin sticking out. Replace fishing rod line guide with safety pin If you use strong duct tape for this hack, the resulting makeshift line guide is strong enough to handle even strong fish. 4. Label your fishing rods with colored coded tape. A nifty way to do this is by using color coded masking tape to label rods with different action and power, so you can recognize them instantly. 5. Use a line cutter's ring to cut fishing line quickly. As every angler knows, it's necessary to cut and retie your fishing line many times on most fishing trips. It has a two sided blade that cuts any fishing line in seconds. And if you don't want to wear a ring, they have other versions that you can bolt to your boat or fishing kayak. 6. Label your fishing reel with tape according to line size. If you have more than two or three reels, it's quite easy to forget what size line you have on each of them. A great way to organize your fishing reels according to the line type and size spooled onto them is by labeling them with a piece of tape that has that information written on it. Of course, you could also combine this with a color coding system. 7. Use Ziploc bags to organize your lures by size. If you have a large collection of fishing lures, it can be a challenge to change from one size to another one quickly, especially if they're all tangled up together in your tackle box. That's why it helps to sort them by type, and keep each lure type in a labeled Ziploc bag. For example, you could keep plastic worms or jigs of different sizes in different bags that are labeled according to size. 8. Save money on braid by turning your line around when it gets worn out. Braid is a lot more expensive than monofilament, which is why many anglers use S monofilament backing when they spool a spinning reel. So you just need to turn the line around and tie the worn out end to the mono backing, and then continue fishing with the fresh end, which essentially means you can use it twice as long. Tie the worn out end of the braid to a fence, and walk away from it with your reel until you reach the backing. Then cut the line and go back to the fence. Tie the worn out end to the backing, and re-spool the reel with the line turned around. 9. Use electrical tape to make your spinning reel spool braid ready. Regular spinning reels can't be spooled with braid directly, since braided line slips on the smooth aluminum of the spool, even if it's tightly tied to it. 